Nobody likes ads, but if you are running them, here's how I have found it to be most effective. Summary is in the video description and timestamps below. So here we can see the ads manager and set up in your Twitch dashboard. I have it set to a 90 second ad every 30 minutes, which is the minimum that you get no pre-rolls running on your content, but you also get the 55% revenue split. Here is then my Twitch dashboard, which is what I have up while I'm streaming. I have chat here, small version of the stream here, my activity feed, quick actions, and the ads manager itself. Notably, this button in this timer will turn bright yellow when there's five minutes left. I believe, yeah, that's the setting right here, upcoming ad break notification, five minutes before ad starts. Here are some clips of me using and discussing my ads running procedure. It has actually... While I'm talking about it, it has these two buttons here. So, you know, it shows the time, and then I have the time set that five minutes before it'll highlight yellow. And then it has the snooze ad button and the run it now button, which then extends the timer by another, in my case, 30 minutes. So, I'm just gonna have that up today, see if maybe I can make a little content about that. All right, so I just beat that trainer. As you can see on the ad tracker, um, it's time to run another ad. So we are going to run that real quick and then we will get back to the battles. All right, I'm gonna run a commercial while I'm shopping and uh, heading off to fight the next trainer and we'll be back in a moment. This is perfect ad timing. It's an unexciting section of content, so I'm just running the ad early. All right, we are back. Let's fight this nerd. technical measurement of time. It is also time for a commercial, so we will do that in a moment. Yes, I have my ad, ad manager displaying on stream down in the, in the bottom so that people can see what I'm doing with it. And so, you know, it's down to, okay, your ad's coming sometime within the next five minutes. So I'm like, okay, I will finish fighting this trainer and then go step farm, which means just running in circles while the ad runs. All right, we're gonna run a commercial. And then we will uh, see what our level up move is. So now I just click the run ad button. And we're good to go. Alternatives are using a bot, stream deck, chat command, or your mods. All right, thank you for sticking through that ad. Um, so I ran an ad relatively recently, so as you can see on the ads manager at the bottom of the screen, I have 24 minutes until my next ad, but I'm going to run one now because I'm doing something in game where it's just a boring grind. I need to run around in circles for about 10 minutes. Um, and so since there's nothing going on in the game, I'm going to run another ad now and boost the ad timer up to 50 minutes until my next ad. So thank you for sticking through that. clicked run ad, there's the ad running. So as you can see, the ad is about to finish running. Three, two, one, and ad is done. And there is now 52 minutes and two seconds until my next ad needs to run. There is also the snooze button. I need five, you know, I, I need five more minutes before the ad. Let's snooze it. There, I just added five minutes. It's now 56 minutes until an ad will run. It's not going to trigger in my content in a way that I'm unaware of. And I've trained myself and built understanding of how to utilize that system into my content, but it's not going to happen during a major boss fight or a major cutscene unless you've been absorbed in it for 20 minutes and unable to notice the timer. Editor's note, the statement applies if only if you have a similar setup to mine. There are many reasons it might not work for you. Three of the most common being your technical setup, such as not having a second monitor, 
disability, such as a cognitive, visual, or memory challenge, and neurodivergence, where you process the information in a manner unlike mine. This is just what works for me. Another detail with the Ads Manager that I want to point out is that it uh, has a small cooldown between the time you can run ads. It has an eight minute cooldown between ads. So if you do want to build up some ad free time, you do have to stagger it out a little bit. You can't just run 90 seconds and then 90 seconds and get an hour. Um, the most for I understand that there are some streamers that can get extra time. But for most streamers, it is if you run a 90 second ad, you get 30 minutes of pre-roll off. The, for me, critically, the point that I'm making as I'm showing it off is that I don't let the timer hit zero. 95% of the time I run an ad, I'm clicking the button myself to choose exactly when it runs, as opposed to just waiting for the timer. Like, I don't think any streamer should be waiting for the timer. I've been automating ads every 30 minutes for more than two years now. Um, so I got used to how to work with that. The ads manager just makes it so much easier to do because it's more accurate and fine tunable, has the snooze button. All right, I am going to bio break. It is time for a commercial and then we will be back and we have full cleared Mount Moon. Adieu. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. I will leave you with a question for the comments. What is something you have learned this week? Don't forget to like and subscribe for more edited challenges and tutorials.